Hello and welcome to Living Supernaturally. Um, uh, in this series, we're looking at uh, the cry of uh, of our heart, or if it, uh, and the response, a uh, biblical response to it. So, if your cry is help, I can't hear, then uh, let's look into God's word and see what the word of God has to say to it. Um, John chapter ten and verse twenty seven. The Lord Jesus says, "My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me." So the Lord Jesus, who's the good shepherd, has promised us that we, as the sheep of the shepherd, have been created, have been designed to hear the voice of the shepherd. So uh, the Lord Jesus says that the sheep will hear His voice, and they will know Him and follow Him. So we see that we have been designed uh, in the book of Revelation over and over again. Um, the exhortation is, "Let him who has an ear hear what the Spirit of God is saying." What the Spirit is saying. So, which means that as believers, we've been designed to hear the voice of the Spirit, right? So, this hearing capacity is what we are able to perceive in our spirit, uh, hear clearly in our spirit. Um, it could be a prompting. It could be in so many other ways. Um, but we can. We are designed to hear the voice of the Spirit. Uh, but it is it is possible that this hearing capacity becomes becomes dull, and uh, it becomes overshadowed by many th- many other things. So how do we, how does this happen? How do we, uh, you know, what dulls our ability to hear the voice of the Shepherd? What dulls our ability to hear uh, what the Spirit of God is saying? Well, Hebrews three and uh, verse thirteen says this. Exhort one another daily, while it is called today, lest any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. So there is a hardening that happens because of sin. So because of sinful patterns, because of indulgence in sin, there is a hardening that happens if we continue to live a life of sin, and therefore we are not able to receive what the Lord is saying. We are not, not, not able to hear what the Spirit of God is prompting and directing. In 1 Corinthians 2 and verse 14 we read this but the natural man does not receive the things of the spirit of god for they are foolishness to him uh, nor can he know them because they are spiritually discerned so a natural mindset a mindset that is of the world a natural mindset and not a spiritual mindset uh, or a spiritual uh, a natural way of thinking um, well, it is it's good to be logical. It's good to be, you know, reason uh, reasoning things out. But if it contradicts the uh, the the word of God, uh, we are we have a natural mindset, and the Bible is very clear. It says that uh, the natural mindset or a person who has that mindset does not have the inclination nor the capacity to receive. Thirdly, um, you know, if there is carnality. In, in, in to the Corinthian church, Paul goes and talks to them, and he's saying, "You know, I could not speak to you as to spiritually mature people, but I had to speak to you as to spiritual babies, you know, as to carnal people, because there is still carnality, meaning there was envy and strife and division. So they were not in a position to receive solid food. So Paul mentions that. So you know, these could be some reasons why we are." dull or hard of hearing the voice of the shepherd or uh, you know uh, in, enabled unable to hear the voice of the spirit of god now it is time to reclaim which means we yield repent renounce forgive so that there is no hardness of heart we also pray in the spirit when we pray in tongues when we pray in the spirit we become tuned to the voice of the spirit of god when we read the word, when we fill our minds with the thoughts of God, we are able to recognize the voice of the shepherd. And when we intentionally renew our mind with God's word, then we are able to, uh, our actions, uh, we are able to hear more and we are also able to follow the voice of the spirit. So let's reclaim, reclaim our ability to hear today. Let's pray. Father, we thank you that uh, you are the good shepherd and it, you have designed us to hear your voice. And Lord, we pray for those, those of us who are unable to hear your voice because of sin or because of various things, God. Lord, we pray that we will set all those things aside and intentionally pursue you and reclaim 
our ability to hear your voice. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.